Okay, so today's class uh, will be continuing discussing the semester paper. Eh? Okay, so I hope you have gone through the paper with your score and whatever question you got problem. Okay, I believe you have a question in your mind, so you select for me as usual. We are not going to go through everything. So the questions you have problem. Okay. Okay, so yes, as usual. Any questions in objective first? We have problem. Question eight. Question eight, eh? Okay, good. So we go to question eight. Okay, question eight, everyone. Eh? So in an experiment to determine the acceleration of free fall G, a pole bearing is held by an electromagnet when the current to the electromagnet is switched off, a clock, a clock starts and the ball bearing falls. After falling a distance of H, the ball bearing strikes a switch to stop, clock, which measures the time T of the ball fall. The systematic errors cause T and H to be measured incorrectly. Which error must cause G to appear greater than 9.81? Uh, which going to make the gravity calculations greater than 9.81. Okay, so for this, you have to recall back what formula they're going to use to calculate this. What formula do they going to use? Uh, sorry, let me... Okay, so the formula they're going to use is which formula? Of course, uh, S equals to half GT squared, right? This is the formula to be used. So... Right, move here. So G is what? G is uh, 2s over t squared. Eh? Okay, so 2s over t squared. G. So first question. H is measured as being smaller than it actually is, and T is measured correctly. So H actually, if I want to write it in terms of H, 2h over t squared. So when the G become, uh, the question is what? appear greater than 9.81. When G get greater than 9.81? When G get greater than 9.81? When H is greater, right? When H is greater or T is smaller, will give you the G the largest, greatest. Eh? So first, H measures as being smaller than its actual. So if H is smaller, I think it, the G effect is smaller, it gets smaller, right? because G is 2H over T squared. So A cannot be the answer. A make the G smaller because H has become smaller. Okay. B H is measured as being smaller than its actual is. H is measured in being smaller than its actually is, and T measured as being larger than it actually is. H is smaller. T is bigger. It make the G even smaller, right? The numerator. The numerator is getting smaller, the denominator getting bigger, right? So, of course, this is the worst case, like G even gets smaller. Okay. C, H measured has been larger than it actually is, and T measured has been larger than it actually is. H getting larger, good, the G get bigger. T also getting larger, I think is counter react with H. H larger, T larger, there is a chance that T, G is is, is remains the same. Okay. But we go for the D. H is measured correctly and T measured as being smaller. Uh, D is the answer. D is the answer. And 2H over T squared. No change to H, but T gets smaller. Uh, the G gets bigger. So I think the answer should be D. What's the answer given? Yeah, it's D. Yeah, so do you understand? So you must think about this formula, S equals to R of GT squared. Okay, you can understand? Any problem? Anything you don't understand? So can, eh? Okay, any other question? Question 11. Okay, we go to question 11. Okay, class. Uh, okay, question 11. Huh? K, 
Okay, give you a minute. Uh, the others who are tried before, give a try again. Just, just uh, one minute. Okay, you see here this particle eh, Px. So I told you this uh, two dimensional collision. So when you deal with two dimensional collision, first thing you have to do is split all the momentum to the R components. Eh? So particle X has a momentum Px, particle Y has a momentum Py. Py, okay, so Px, okay. So originally the particle X has a momentum P. Eh? Which equation is correctly statement for the momentum in this collision? Okay, so original momentum is p this direction. Uh, the this p this p is actually is basically same as p x uh, p x p. Why the arrow is coming out? Uh, so p x is p. Sorry, p x is p. P y originally is zero. Okay, p i originally is zero. Okay. So this Px, this Px, you have to resolve horizontally and vertically. Horizontally, this Px will be Px cos theta. Eh? And vertically, the Px will be what? Px sine theta. Okay, I think something's wrong with my pen. I don't know. Okay, bear with me. The Py. Py, the horizontal component should be Py is Py cos alpha, eh? cos alpha. You close the angle is cos. Eh? The Py here, this component is negative Py sine alpha. Why negative? Because it's pointing downwards. Eh? Momentum downwards is negative. Momentum to the left is negative. Okay. Okay, so yeah. So what equation represents? So momentum is horizontally conserved and vertically conserved. Eh? Horizontally, the momentum before, horizontally at x direction, at x direction, uh, p before is px is equal to, horizontally, what, is the, what are the horizontal uh, momentum? px cos theta and py cos theta. So the px, the p, sorry, in this case is the p, eh? the p should be, Px cos theta plus Py cos theta, cos alpha, sorry. Okay, this is for horizontal. For vertical, for vertical, uh, before is zero. Vertically, before, there is no momentum. There is no momentum. Eh? Okay, after vertically, you see, one is up, one is down. So, vertically, after is px sine theta minus py sine alpha. This should be your equation. So therefore, you move the one value to the other side. So px sine theta must be same as py sine alpha. So therefore, the answer should be b. Should be b. So you got the idea? Yes. Yes, I okay, But teacher, you. the answer given is B. No, no. Sorry. The answer given is what? D. D, right? Donkey. Oh, the answer is given donkey. Yeah. Uh, I think it should be changed. Okay, let me check back. Is it D? Is it D given wrong? Oh, in the maximum they give D, eh? yeah. I think they change it back. Let me check. Let me check later. Do they change it back? But do you, did you score for the paper one plus paper two? Paper one plus paper two, the formula I give you, right? 
paper one plus paper two divided by sixty times hundred. Do you get the score given to you by the college? Just is it lower? Is it lower or is it higher? Slightly higher is okay because I did a little higher. If it's lower, then this question got problem, lah. Is it lower? No. It's higher, right? I because think uh, the same. I'm not sure. Because paper one plus paper two, whatever paper one score and paper two score, maybe uh, this answer. I think they already changed it. I I need to check back. Okay, if they change it, whatever mark scheme I given to you, eh, whatever mark scheme I given to you, maybe you get a lower score. According to you, you get a lower score. So your your mark you going to calculate. Uh, maybe you got seventy one based on your calculation, but the given by the college, if it's more than seventy one, let's say you got seventy three or something. Okay, it's more than that. That means this question has been corrected. But anyway, let me check. Okay, so yours is more than uh, the 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 mark you calculated. Is it more than the mark you calculated? The one you calculated seventy one, but the one you given by the college is greater. That means maybe this has been corrected. Let but let me check. But the answer is supposed to be B. B is the answer. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Eighteen. Eighteen. Huh? Okay. Question eighteen. Okay. Question eighteen. We done this uh, in our when we do projectile movement. Huh? A projectile leaves the ground at an angle of sixty degrees. Or another, its initial kinetic energy is K. Find the temp K, its kinetic energy at the highest point. So it was launched 60 degrees, and they found that the kinetic energy here is K. K. It's K. So when it come to the top, they are asking what is the new kinetic energy. Okay. So we. Talk about the the initial one. Eh? The K is what R M V squared. Okay. Uh, the V I put this as the original value as uh, sorry original value I put U eh? M U squared. So original speed I put U eh? U sixty. So the kinetic energy at the top E K is going to be R M V squared. But you should know that. The V at the top here is moving horizontally. So therefore, the V at the top is exactly same as the V X value, V X squared, V X, because V Y is zero at the top. Okay. So the kinetic energy at the top is half m V X squared. V X squared is same as U X squared, U X squared, right? V X and U X must be same one. Horizontal component never change. So therefore. Half m u x squared is what u x. What is the horizontal component? What is the u x value? U x is u cos t sixty. U cos sixty. Yes. So u x is u cos sixty. So I do the working here. So half m u x is actually u cos sixty squared. So this is the kinetic energy at the top. So it will be what half m u squared cos squared sixty. But half m u squared is what half m u squared is the k half m u squared is the k. So k times with cos squared sixty. Cos sixty is how much? Cos sixty is half, right? So square it. I think quarter. We get quarter. So I'm saying quarter k. So it should be c. For taking, so answer given is C. Yes, we get C. The answer. So given is C. You look at the working. Yeah, do you, which part you don't understand? So the answer given is B. B boy, half half K. I'm thinking about speed, eh? Yeah. So 
Okay, okay. Let me check. So question 11 and 18 got problem. La. 18 is given was uh, supposed to be C, but they give you B. Eh? And question 11 is what? Question 11 is, uh, is supposed to be B, but given is D. Supposed to be B, but given is D. Okay, let me let me record down. Let me check with the with my department. Okay, do they change it? Because they might change it. So eleven is B to D. Uh, Eighteen is C to B. Okay, so for your future use, the patient here must be C. Uh, should be C, not B. Okay, so see. Any adjustment to the mark? Let me check later. Okay, any other question? Should be see. Any other questions? No other questions. 15. 15, eh? Okay, question 15, moment. Okay. A diving board of length five meters each at one end and supported by two meter from this end by the spring constant 10 kilo Newton. Okay. The child of mass 40 kilograms stands at the far end of the board. Two meter, that's end, okay. A child of 40 kilograms. Okay, what is the extra compression of spring caused by the child standing on the end of the ball? A diving board of five meters each at one end and supported by two meters from this end by a spring tank. Okay. Okay, so they're asking for the, what is the extra compression of the spring caused by this? child standing on the end of the pot. Eh? So we know the, the person is acting force downwards is uh, 40 times 9.81. And the spring exit force upwards because it's compressed. So the force given by the spring is Kx, K times x. X is the compression. X is the compression. Eh? So the moment caused by the weight must be seen as the moment caused by the, by the compression. Okay, so 40 times 9.81, the moment we calculate from the inch, eh, from the inch, so therefore five meter should be equal to uh, the force of the spring, Kx, times with two meter. So you find the x. So 40 times 9.81, five, over k k times two, eh? k is what? k is ten times two. So you should get the the compression. How much you got for this? Four times five two. Uh, so compression caused by the child standing on the end of the spring, eh? So what do you get for this answer? 40 times 9.81 times 5 divided by 10 times 2. What is the answer? Do we change anything? All SI unit, right? So 40 times 5, 40 times 5, eh? 40 times 9.81 times 5, 10 times Two. Yeah, correct. What is the answer you got for this? Anyone? 9.81. Got 9.81, eh? But this should be in, because 40, eh? 40, 9.81, 5 all in meter, and spin constant, mm -hmm. or oh, the trap is spin constant, la. kilo newton. So therefore, the spring constant cannot be 10, it should be how much? It should be? 10,000. It should be 10,000. Then what's your answer you got? 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो नाइन एट वन है सेंटीमीटर है, I think it's close to one cm. I'm saying three point nine. C. It is nine point eight cm. Yes. Nine point nine point eight one ten power negative three. Nine point eight one ten power negative three. Any mistake? Forty times nine point eight one times five. You have a ten thousand times two. You didn't get. Uh, you got nine point eight one times ten power negative three. Yeah. I think it's ten power negative two. Ten power of negative two. Oh, oh so at least you got negative two, is it? So yeah, you got nine point eight one lah. Calculate back the forty times nine point eight one times five divided by ten thousand times two. Okay, do you get nine point eight one times ten power negative two? Uh, let me check. Okay, hold on now. Let me check. Uh, Okay, so now forty times eight times divided by ten thousand divided by two. Yeah, correct. Nine point eight one. Yeah, you got negative two. You got negative. So you got final answer as nine point eight one centimeter. So you get C. Okay, so I think it should be C, because forty times nine point eight one times five divided by ten thousand times two, you get a nine point eight one times ten power of negative centimeter. To change the centimeter, you get nine point eight centimeter. Okay. Okay. Any any part you don't understand? Can I? Can. Okay. So any other questions? Teacher, can I see number twenty-five? Twenty-five, eh? Okay. Okay, twenty-five. The principle of superposition states that the certain quantity is added when two or more waves meet at a point. What is this quantity? Added. Uh, uh should be displacement. Displacement cannot be amplitude. Yeah. Cannot be amplitude. Let's say two waves are moving like this. One wave here, okay. Another wave moving like this. At the point of meeting, yeah. At the point of meeting, let's say uh, the displacement here. This, uh, the, sorry, the, the, the first wave is displaced like this. This is the point of meeting. Right? This is the displacement of the y one, uh, the, the first wave. The second wave is meeting like this. The second wave is y two here. So what is the resultant displacement at this point? The two displacement added, not the amplitude, not the amplitude. Amplitude is maximum displacement. Okay, so it should be displacement. Yeah, amplitude cannot be amplitude. It's displacement. Wavelength definitely nothing to do with superposition. Eh? Intensity also grows. Eh? Intensity also grows, but not intensity is added. The intensity of the first one not has been added because intensity is directly proportional to the amplitude square, so you cannot add it because of square. 
can't simply sit idle because the square treatment is there. Eh? And second given is what? B, is it? A. Amplitude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, okay, let me check on these two. Eh? Two principles of a state that a certain point is added when two or more waves meet at the point. What is the quantity? So it should be B. 25 given is uh, A, eh? but the answer should be B. Hey, uh, uh, let me check all these answers. Uh, then let me see if there are any correction to your mark. Okay. Okay, so don't worry, let me check. Eh? Okay, any other questions? So here the answer should be B, not A. Any other questions? Wait, um, 21. Um, so 21. Yeah. Isn't the amplitude is going to be doubled? Uh, the principle of super state that certain quantities added when two or more waves meet at a point. Meet at a point. Two waves meet at a point. Eh? And two wave meets at the point. State the certain quantities added when two or more waves meet at a point. At that instant, you see, if, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, for example, eh, uh, in a uh, in a lake, uh, let's say in a swimming pool. In a swimming pool, you drop a stone, a wave is produced. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Plus, uh, give me a minute. Sorry, I just need to sort out something. Just give one minute. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so you see there is a lake, uh, there is a swimming pool here. Yeah? You have swimming pool. Imagine, uh, sorry. Okay, you have a swimming pool here. So let's say uh, you drop a stone, uh, a wave is traveling, and another wave is traveling here. Let's say this amplitude is one centimeter. This another amplitude is two centimeter. When they meet up, when they meet up here, the maximum displacement will be. Uh, the maximum displacement will be like two centimeter. The maximum displacement will be two centimeter. The amplitude of the waveforms here is two centimeter. But is it when you appear, when you look at it here, when you see the point where the superposition happens, huh? is it the when they're meeting up, is it the water going to stay at top two centimeter throughout the movement? Huh? You see the water is like always on top, like this. So the 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 because because the waves are traveling, the waves are traveling. Uh, when the peak and when the peak when the crest and crest meets up, when the when when because one is moving this way, one is moving this way. Let's say another one moving uh, this way. Let's say okay. And uh, when the crest and crest meets up, they form the maximum displacement two centimeter. So final appearance will be like a two centimeter. Okay, you know, like a stationary wave, stationary wave, stationary wave. Uh, is it like a string? You know the string, the string, string. Is it always uh, the the wave? Is it always the the maximum displacement? Is it always going to be the amplitude? The two a, one is a, another one is a, so two a. No right. Then the the displacement going to drop, getting smaller, getting further away after a short period of time. 
So the principle of superposition state that the certain quantity is added is the, the displacement. You check the principle of superposition, the principle of superposition definition. What is principle of superposition state? When two or more wave meets a point, the resultant displacement is the sum of all the displacement of the wave at that point. Displacement is mentioned, not amplitude. So it has to be B. Okay? So it has to be B here. Yeah. Cannot be A. Okay, let me check the answers. Um, okay, so 11, 15, and 25 is uh, need to be needed correction. So, so yeah. is it amplitude technically is half the displacement? Amplitude is technically no no displacement is keep on changing one. And when I, well, that's my point. Uh, my point is uh, you see yeah. Uh, let me clear this. You see uh, when this waves comes here and this waves comes here. Let's say uh, at the moment uh, because this wave is moving, it's why amplitudes keep on rising. Why it's keep on changing. The displacements keep on changing. This wave also, let's say, is keep on changing, increasing. So at any moment, the, the displacement is keep on changing. When the displacement is keep on changing, the final appearance, the displacement. Oh. Uh, will okay. So yeah. that means the amplitude is technically is, is constant. Uh, the amplitude is constant, but uh, the yeah, the amplitude is constant, but the appearance is keep on changing because of the displacement is changing. Final appearance will be the maximum appearance is the two a. Okay, what is meant by amplitude? Maximum displacement. That's it. Okay. It's the maximum displacement. But this happens only a short period of time. Okay. Any other questions? So 11, 15, 25, the uh, answer is uh, different. Eh? Okay. Any other questions? If you don't have questions, we can go to structure. 21. 21, yeah. Okay, 21. A mass is rise vertically in time t. The increase in gravitational potential energy is Eb. And the increase in its kinetic energy is Ek. What is the average power input to the mass? A mass is rise vertically in time t. The increase in gravitational energy is Eb. And its increase in kinetic energy is is EK. So, what is the average power input to the mass? So, average power input, eh? input power. So, it goes up, EP was gain, gain, EP is the gain, eh? gain. EK also gain, EK also is, is the gain. <laughs> that means there is a thrust there, uh, somebody like uh, pulling it up. So the object gain EP at the same time, EK also gain. So work done by the thrust is equal to what? Uh, gain in EP plus gain in EK. And of course, heat, but heat here uh, does not involve. So, so what is the input power? The input power is power of U because U causes the EP and EK gain. Okay, so the answer should be uh, the EP plus EK, EP plus EK over time is the input power. So it should be B. One side is given. It's C. Yeah, C. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Over time, over time. C. Yeah. Yeah. And say C. Yeah, EP plus EK. Because that's the input power. But in this case, EP also gaining, EK is gaining. That means there is a thrust is provided. So that is the input power to, to make the object to gain EP and also gain EK. So, so the work done by you is EP plus EK. So EP plus EK divided by time is the input input power. Actually, work done over time is the, that's the input power. It's equal to EK plus EP. Yes, so it should be C. Got the idea? Yes, thank you. Any other question? Okay, so no questions. We can go to the structure question. 
Um, I yeah. have um, 21. 21, eh? Okay. Yes, just now we discussed. Yeah. Any problem? Okay. Can I? Okay. Any other question? Okay. So we go to the structure. Okay. So structured questions. Uh, I believe you have the questions with you. Okay, let me put it aside, the question and the answer. Okay, let me show you the answer. Okay, so this is the answer given. Okay. Okay, so hope you can see the answer. So look at the first one. First one, I go to the question. The first one, the question said, an equation of speed V longitudinal waves is the third row elastic in young modulus. Okay. So the speed related to young modulus and density is E over rho squared. Eh? Show whether the equation is homogeneous or not. A three marks allocated. Three marks is given for this. Uh, first, uh, first mark given is your velocity, your density, and your young modulus unit is correct. Velocity, I don't think so. May, many of you made a mistake. It's meter per second. Density is kg per meter cube. I don't think so. Many of you made a mistake. I think many of you make a mistake with the yeah, some of you uh, with the young modulus. Uh, young modulus kg m negative one s negative two. Okay, the young modulus. So young modulus is what? Young modulus is uh, stress over strain. So stress is Pascal over strain unitless. So it's actually unit of Pascal. Uh, Pascal is what? Newton per meter squared. So Newton is what? Kg ms negative two times m negative two. So therefore you got Kg m negative one s negative two. So that's your young modulus. Kg m negative one s negative two. Okay, some of you made a mistake here, young modulus. So if these three units correct, you get one mark. One of the unit wrong, so you don't act, you don't get mark. Then it's going to be a chain reaction after that. Okay. Then another mistake you did, some of you did a mistake, you never square it. Forgot to square it. So therefore, you made a mistake. Okay. So final unit you should get is M4 as negative 4 for the part of E over rho squared. Uh, so M4 S negative 4. So when I see M4 S negative 4, you get all the three marks. Okay. So that's the part A. Show whether the equation is homogeneous. So finally, it's definitely not homogeneous. Hence, this equation is not homogeneous. M4 S negative 4, another one is M S negative 1 for the speed. So they are not homogeneous. Okay. Okay, part B. Part B. A student measure the volume of a polymer cylinder by finding dimension with the ruler. <coughs> he recorded diameter as 16 plus minus 1 and height is 28.1. So find the percentage answered in the volume of the cylinder. So first you need to recall back. The cylinder formula volume is pi over 4 d squared h. You put it in the time meter. Okay, so those who can't recall this equation, then you can't do the question. Eh? For the cylinder, you remember, right? Eh? So for cylinder, the cross sectional area, uh, pi r squared, but in terms of diameter, is pi uh, d over 2 squared eh? times the height. Will end up getting this equation. Eh? So from here, write the uncertainty formula. So changes of V over V should be two changes of D over D. Okay, some of you made a mistake with without the two. D square one. 
So spread two changes of DOT there, changes of H over H. So this is the uncertainty formula. Eh? So marks only given if you substitute it correctly. Then the final answer is 0 0.16 uh, because they want the percentage. So times it 100%. So you get 16%. So you get another one more. So you got two more, total is two more. Okay. Uh, let me extend this a little. So one mark for the substitution, okay? And one mark for the final answer, 16%. Okay? So finally you got 16%. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, why, can't one, why can't I use the radius? Like I calculate using it instead of 16. Oh, you put radius, eh? So the, so the formula you use what? You use uh, pi over pi, we use pi r squared h, is it? Yes. Use pi r squared h as your volume, and you put changes of v over v is two changes of r over r plus changes of h over h. This is your equation, eh? Ah, uh, yes. So then you put eight and eight. Uh, Okay, so you put eight over eight. Okay, you see, first of all, eh, uh, let me, you see, first of all, eh, uh, let me go to the white ball. It's quite messy here. Yeah. Okay, let me go to the white ball. So you see, uh, pi r, r squared h and pi b squared h, okay, both are volume formula. Eh? Okay. So, but you only know the data for D, you know the data for D only. You didn't get the data for D. So let's see, let's see. Okay, let's see you have data for D. What is the data for D given? Okay, what is the data for D given? Sorry. 16. 16, okay. So data for D is 16. Eh? Okay. So data for D is given 16. And uh, plus minus how much? Sorry. They give uh, plus minus uh, one. Eh? Okay, one plus minus one. Okay, so this plus minus one. Okay, so you want to use radius. So you know two changes of r r plus changes of h over h. But you see here, so r and d how they related? How the d? Uh, D over two is R, correct? Okay, D over two is R. Eh? Let's be solve this first. D over two is R. Okay. So because D is 16, R you get eight. Okay, fair enough. But now come to see the changes of R. Get the changes of R. D over two is R. So changes of R over R will be changes of D over D, right? Just looking at this, R is D over two. So changes of R over R should be changes of D over D, right? So what is the changes of R you get? Changes of D over D times R. Eh? Changes of D over D times R. D, how much changes of D? Is one over, D is what? 16 times R is how much? Eight, eh? Eight. So what is your changes of R you get? So change why you get 0 0.5, right? So you get 0 0.5. So two changes of, if you want to use, yeah, change of R you must put 0 0.5 and R you must put eight, uh, then correct. Do you put change of R 0 0.5? I put one. Uh, that's a mistake. You see, changes of R has become 0 0.5. Uh, that's what my advice. That my advice is if diameter given, if diameter given, better don't use R. It's going to be complicated. Okay, you can do, but it's going to be complicated. Better use the D. Try to convert the formula to D and uh, to this format. Then you can straight away use this data. Okay, two changes of D over D. Straight away you can use the changes of D as 1 and D as 16. Then you get the correct answer because you change. To change the bar over R, which is not wrong, is correct. 
but the uncertainty for R, look at here, it's become 0 0.5. Uh, the changes of R will be different. Okay, you got an idea? Yes. Okay. So my advice, retain the D. Okay, so that's the part, uh, part B. Eh? Okay, so let's we go for part C. Okay, part C, part C answer, they have to put part two, part two is actually part C. Right? Yeah, huh? So comment on the student's choice of apparatus, how would you improve his measurement? So how it will improve his measurement? Of course, uh, the, the type of instrument to be used. Eh? I'm happy to see yes, all, I think all of you see, choose vernier caliper, yes. Better, more precise instrument, vernier caliper has a smaller uncertainty. Uh, the reason is what? It can reduce the percentage uncertainty. It can reduce the percentage uncertainty. So therefore, it should be two marks of uh, a smaller uncertainty and percentage uncertainty, two marks. Okay. So any question for the part, question one? Okay. So if you don't have question, we go to the next question. Okay, we go to the two. Eh? Okay, for the question two. So this is the answer for the question two, given. So question two. Eh? So a car accelerates uniformly from rest to the speed of 100 km per hour in 5.8 seconds. Calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of the car. Calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of the car. Okay. So what is the acceleration value? So acceleration is a... So V equals to 100 times 1000 divided by... Th oh, you change to the meter per second first. Then V minus U over T will give you the acceleration of 4.79. Okay, so convert the kilometer power to meter per second first. So change the kilometer to meter divided by 360 because per hour change to per second. Then divide by seconds, you get acceleration, 4.79. Okay, next, calculate the distance traveled by the car while accelerating. So yeah, you know the V, final velocity is uh, 100, which is 27.8. U is zero. A, you know just now, so you can find the S. So V squared equals U squared plus two A has to be used. The substitution one mark, the final answer one mark. All the answers try to put in three SF, if you don't know how many SF to be used. Okay, any problem with this question too? I think it's uh, quite straightforward, uh, number two. Huh? Okay, uh, class. So question three, I think is uh, uh, quite a long one. Maybe we can continue the next class, uh, question three. So try to figure out three, four, five. Uh, next class, we discuss this, these five. Okay, uh, any questions so far? So question 11, 15, and 25 objective. Let me check with your score. Do they mark give you award the mark or not? Eh? If not, uh, your mark need to be changed. Eh? Okay. So I stop here. So we continue the paper another one hour next class. Okay. So any questions? So no questions. Then I see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thanks.